What makes your, you feel good? What floats your boat and makes your steps lighter? What puts a smile on your face without fail and even make your Monday blues disappear? Well, those are the kind of positive ideas we want to focus on because from this point and on, it's good vibes only. For Good Vibes Only, we invite some good people into the studio to talk about good things only, and that is whatever makes us feel happy, whether it's foods, moods, hoods, or goods. And today's good person with the good vibes is journalist Im Sung Hae of Korea Chungang Daily. Hi! Hi! Hi. 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 And welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I can't <laughs> believe we're sitting here no, together. No, it's right? been... A while. It's been a while. Face yeah. to face, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I um, mean, we go way back. And I know. Our uh, listeners, <laughs> we still have to tell our listeners what, like, mm -hmm. how we first met and everything. But of course, I know you well. Mm -hmm. But could you still introduce yourself for our listeners? Yes. Um, I'm Im Sung Hae. Um, I'm a reporter and a chief of the culture desk at the Korea Jungang Daily. It's an English uh, daily newspaper for some of you who are not familiar with our paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so we just publish every single day except the weekends. But yeah, that's pretty much mm -hmm. So uh, you are uh, in charge of the culture yes. part? Yes, yes. Culture. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not just the entertainment, but also culture, mm -hmm. arts, and everything. Mm -hmm. Right. I remember uh, su subscribing to uh -huh. Korea yes. Chungang Daily <laughs> only because actually, you were there. Uh huh. And you actually wrote a. I column. did. Yeah. I I wrote a column about books. Yeah, for Book about suggestions. a year. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thanks to you. <laughs> for about a year. Hedim's yeah. Pick. It was called. Hedim's Pick. Uh -huh. Yeah. You guys and, can um, check them out. Huh? You guys, oh, just so check it out. Check yeah, it out. <laughs> uh, uh, some. That was the time when I uh, was really into books. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still mm -hmm. am, but yeah. back mm -hmm. then I had more time to read. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and again, we actually go way back. Mm -hmm. And do you remember our first encounter? And what do you remember about? <gasps> oh, our first encounter? When was that? <laughs> so I remember I was uh, a trainee. Mm -hmm. the, beginning of my training years mm -hmm. it was beginning of my training years mm -hmm. so i was like what 14 16 yeah i was a teenager i was so a was new trainee in jyp Chung -yi. Chung -yi. Yeah, yeah middle school so i remember i was introduced to you at the church we went yeah together we, we met a, at, at a church at Chung Dam Dong, which was right across the jyp entertainment headquarters <laughs> yeah. yep so i think i came I, I came to korea in 2003 to go to college mm. and I think the church people knew that I spoke English and I was also here without my family yeah. they were back in New Zealand so I think um, these couple of two cute girls you know Heji oh, <laughs> and yeah. you came in uh, as new members and I think they kind of wanted me to help you guys mm -hmm. to just adapt to the new environment and yeah. talk to you guys and mm -hmm, kind of mm -hmm. take care of you guys as a big sister. That yeah, because I, I came from, I grew up in Hong Kong yeah. and Heji, uh -huh. my other friend, she was from yeah. Australia. Uh -huh. So we didn't really have a family yeah. or friends in Korea. So mm -hmm. you were like an older sister mm -hmm, to us mm -hmm. to really take care of. And you have a lot of sisters. Yes, I have three sisters mm -hmm. and they are all over the world. <laughs> yeah. One's in LA, one's in Texas, and the other one's in still in New Zealand. So, wow. yeah. <laughs> and you are actually the same age as my youngest. youngest. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like miss my youngest sister and looked at you guys as my youngest. Yeah. And yeah, I miss the old days. <laughs> me, too. me too. I remember because uh, we were so new here and we yeah. were so young mm -hmm. at the time mm -hmm. and you were really there to support us. Mm -hmm. We felt mm -hmm. so uh, assured mm -hmm. that you were there. I think you, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. 
Well, do you think the Hedim that you know mm -hmm. and Hedim the celebrity are different? Hmm. <laughs> It's a funny question. <laughs> Actually, other than the fact that um, you got more mature, <laughs> like you have a baby boy, that way. I think you're exactly the same. Uh -huh. I remember as a trainee, you work so hard. You put. Every effort and just everything you do, and um, still, like during the time of you doing Wonder Girls, and even after that, I remember you just work so hard and try to like level up every time. Yeah. <laughs> you no. <know? laughs> and like even studying in college, trying to read books, even like translating a book. Oh yeah, I have the too. book for you. I'll give it to you later. <laughs> <laughs> and like seeing that, like watching that from like a side, it, it was just so um, yeah, inspiring. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm like Omni, like mm -hmm. it was really good to see. And I think for a lot of younger um, uh, girls or boys, I mean, it'll be very inspiring for them to to like actually move forward, strive forward every. Oh, each and every day. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. It's so nice to uh, hear that from <laughs> you, so, from somebody who knew me way uh, yeah. uh, long back ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ooh, it's getting emotional. Yeah, it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, we're going to take a quick song mm -hmm. break, but I'll be right back with our guest. So don't go away. Here is Park Ji Yoon with 사랑을 하고 싶어. Love was my song, chosen by Seung Yeon Lee. Yeah. We just heard 사랑을 사랑하고 싶어, Love Was My Song by Park Ji Yoon. And if you're just tuning in, I'm joined by Im Seung-hye 기자님 for this week's Good Vibes Only. Is it right? 사랑을 사랑하고 싶어서? Yeah. It's my first time. I just love her voice. Yeah, she has that sentimental voice that just makes it so sad and calm and everything. I just love the fact that she still sings. After Is this a recent song? Yes. Um, recently yeah, yeah, released? Uh, mm. but I've never heard of it like, before. She's been singing since I was, I don't know, a teenager. Yeah. Like, and she's still singing, so I just love Ooh. the fact that she does that. Yeah. And, and I, I wanted to um, actually talk about um, Dynamic Duo. Oh. I was just coming here listening to their recent release mm -hmm. and I just love the fact that they're still producing songs. Oh yeah, Dynamic Duo. I'm a fan yeah. too. Yeah. <gasps> Especially <laughs> Keiko. I, I think he yeah, is rap, one of the no? best rappers mm. in Korea. Yeah. Like his pronunciation yeah. is so accurate. You can hear every word that he's I saying. <gasps> oh, <laughs> <laughs> We're fangirling over Yay. Dynamic Duo. <laughs> And Park Ji Yoon, oh, this is a great song. Mm -hmm. I love her song Hwan Sang mm -hmm. and like Steal Away, mm -hmm. Song In Shi. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm glad she's still around. Yes, yes. Mm. I feel like she's really an artist. Mm -hmm. Did yeah. you ever get to interview her? No, no, you should. I should. I should. I should. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have some me messages from our listeners. Tae Pei Wern says, "Hello, Miss Im. <laughs> welcome, Ms. welcome, Miss Im. Hi, thank you." And Ham says, nice to meet you. Singing name, mm -hmm. 오늘 잘 부탁드립니다. Your pronunciation mm -hmm. is so elegant like oh, Lindy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Benjamin Vera Cruz says, oh, the feels of this segment. Glad to see you both still have a warm connection. So nice to hear and oh. see. Thank you, Benjamin. And Claire says, oh my gosh, welcome to Wonder Hours, Miss Im. Oh, Miss Yeah. <laughs> you so always have the best fashion sense. Uh -huh. Thank oh. you. She said you always. Oh. Does that mean that you've yeah, always been a follower of Miss Yim? Thank you. Yes. <gasps> wow. Uh. And can you give a run through of your OOTD and okay. also some fashion tips? Good um, question. Thank you. This is the first time somebody asked our guest for an OOTD. <laughs> wow. But you That's have definitely yeah, asked the right person. Right. Um, well, I love green. Oh, and I, I never knew that. Really? Did you look at Kong? Oh, Our mascot is green. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I wanted to. So I was. Just, we have a meeting every Monday. So I wanted to wear a kind of a jacket on top, 
today Ooh. and also coming to see Hedim yeah. for the first time in a long time. She just wanted to look kind of formal, but on the way out, it was kind of chilly, so mm -hmm. I just um, wanted to throw on mm -hmm. my favorite uh, sweater. Mm -hmm. And then, what else? My earrings. I always love your accessories. Oh, yeah. I'm very, very into accessories. Mm -hmm. I can't have enough. My parents and my um, friends complain that I have too much on. <laughs> but I think but that's, I can't have enough. <laughs> that's what makes your style more fashionable. Yeah. And you, you always have so many rings on your fingers. Yeah, and so like, many. Oh, I, too bad I have only one neck. <laughs> <laughs> only one neck. And you have like I love your accessories I, like all the time. Thank you. I uh, whenever I come and see you, mm -hmm. I love your fashion. Thank Today you. you look so chic but Thank stylish. You. you know, I you should do like a page of like um, oh. career woman daily outfit kind oh, of page. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I assume you're gonna have so many followers. With uh, Claire, will follow you. I will follow you. Ooh. We're all interested. And yeah. um, too bad I can't show oh. you guys my shoes today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's wearing this really cute fli uh, sandals, flip flops, yeah, furry, furry, furry um, shoes. Uh -huh. Not because of to to um, for fashion, mm -hmm. but because <laughs> I broke my toe. Oh. I, I couldn't fit my um, feet into my heels or my sneakers. So, mm -hmm. but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. that was a good I think being choice. comfortable is the most important yeah. factor. <laughs> what would you think is the most important thing in uh, fashion? Fashion? Um, mix match. Mix match. <laughs> yeah. That so, is so hard. I think I kind of wore, I uh, wanted to wear a jacket, mm. but wearing kind of flip floppy sandal. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, it just speaks myself. So, yeah, speaking <laughs> yourself. But it your looks, uh, it looks um, all right. Like the missing, mix sure? and match. Yeah, sure? it goes Sometimes well. Sometimes I question. I think it depends on who wear it. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> thank you. All right. Well, going into uh, more questions, mm -hmm. were you always into journalism? Oh, I mm -hmm. think I get that question a lot. Um, I was in this industry for like 15 years now. Actually, 15. today's April Fool's Day, right? Uh -huh. But not lying, but this is <laughs> <laughs> my anniversary. Mm. Uh, the day I started my job at the Korea Jungang Daily. Wow, so, it's a special day. Yeah, Congratulations, 15 so, years. Yeah. Oh. So, <laughs> I know. Time flies. Wow. But anyways, yeah. Um, I always loved writing, but mm. I think up until like Koi, mm. high school, <laughs> second year in high school, I didn't know what to do. Mm. I was gro I was um, going to high school in New Zealand, mm. and I think my mom kind of saw the talent of oh. me, like criticizing people, <laughs> and, like, <laughs> being very analytic, and so I think. She said, why not go to Korea and um, major in journalism? Mm. Because rather than like doing creative writing, I think that critical um, aspect of you kind of goes well with journalism. So mm. I think, oh, OK, why not? I like traveling. May as well go back to Korea and take some classes. Mm -hmm. And then I came back and realized that, yeah. It was I, your thing. Yep. Wow. That was my thing. So right after graduation, just wanted to study more journalism. So um, I was trying to go to a graduate school, but then found a job, job opening mm -hmm. in Korea Jungang Daily. So, and here I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. So your mom yeah. kind of inspired uh -huh. you and she, I guess she knew you very well. Yes, to she was like mm -hmm. watching me. <laughs> watching you. <laughs> But wow, 15 years, like, yeah. what's your secret to, you know, having a, such a successful career and doing it for such a long, uh, uh -huh. you know, keeping your job and just staying um, on top of everything? I think you just have to love what you do. Mm. You have to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I started off as a, in this company as a national reporter, actually. So oh. I cover social affairs. I was doing, um, I was covering 
news from Ministry of Health and Welfare. Uh -huh. Can you imagine me walking into the <laughs> Ministry of Health and Welfare every um, 8 a.m. in the morning? And huh. But I like the experience and I learned a lot, like writing hard news and um, straight news. But I really wanted, I loved culture yeah. and I... I was like snooping around every now and the then, culture section. like trying to like, be friendly with the culture reporters. <laughs> and I think after two years, um, there was a, a vacancy at the ah, culture section. Perfect. So I was like talking to the culture desk at back then and I want to go to culture. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. Since then, I've been enjoying every single day. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think that's how you stay. So passion mm, yep. and, be, and enjoying what you do yes, would be yes. the secret uh -huh. to a long, um, uh -huh. successful career. Yes. Ah, I wish I could, um, <laughs> you know, do a host uh -huh. this show, Wonder Hours with Henning, for 15 years. <laughs> I can yeah. see myself doing it for 15 years yes. and also with my whole team. <laughs> I love your team. Yeah, they're amazing, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you mentioned that traveling is uh, your favorite part about being a journalist, but mm -hmm. what other than so, traveling? Not, mm, also meeting a lot of new people, talking yeah. to them, discovering what they do, why they do that. I mean, I love people who like inspire me and like like just finding out why they do what they do. Mm. It's so fun. Just learning exciting. about new people. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. yeah, I think that's one of the best parts uh, uh -huh. about DJing oh, and hosting yeah. the show too, because mm -hmm. I get to meet people with such good vibes, mm -hmm. good energy, mm -hmm. and people that I would not normally meet, mm -hmm. right? So that's uh, an amazing part about both right. of our jobs. I know. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And you said you were in the news column before mm -hmm. and the health col the segment, uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. section? Section. Uh, section mm -hmm. and culture. But of course, c culture part is your favorite, mm -hmm. but which is your... Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have a least favorite uh, <laughs> section, <laughs> if you can tell mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure there are um, a lot of <laughs> <laughs> who prefer to stay in that uh, category, but um, mm -hmm. I'll think, especially in this time, maybe the national desk. <laughs> uh, like the news. Desk, Especially desk. with the general election coming oh. up, um, I <laughs> hate to uh, stay up until late, until all the mm -hmm. like the election papers get opened up and all that. <laughs> Whoa. I can't stay up. For I that. feel you. I'm so, sure the news section people uh -huh. um, must be so busy nowadays, know, right? Mm -hmm. With the election and everything. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can, Imagine. yeah, your, respect, your face expression for, tells us uh, everything. Respect for all our um, national uh -huh. <laughs> reporters. Oh, <laughs> a, as, and what's the hardest part about your job? I think um, juggling time. Oh. Yeah, you're just so busy. Mm. You have so much going on at the same time. You just get tons of emails, mm. text messages, uh, so much schedule, press conferences. You just have to list it up and prioritize. Uh, yeah, prioritize it. And, and then at the end of the day, you find out you have no time for yourself, right? Oh. So I actually put myself Mm -hmm. Time for myself to that list. <laughs> oh, that's so important. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Mm -hmm. That is necessary because yeah. you need that work and life I know, balance. I know. Right? That's why I think also I could survive working mm -hmm. the same company for 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, for example, if somebody says, oh, can I make an appointment with you on Saturday? I have a, a my Google Calendar, I have a <laughs> slot for myself uh -huh. um, for like five hours. Mm -hmm. So I say no, mm -hmm. because I already have something planned. Yeah, that's Which a schedule like too. To lie down yeah, and do yeah. nothing. You need that time and you need to find what's right for you. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. Good job. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm trying my best to do <laughs> yeah. that too, especially, uh, you know, uh -huh. being a mom and everything. Of course, trying of my best to... Uh, have some yeah. my space and uh -huh. have my time. Your own time. Which is so mm -hmm. important. And can you tell us about what the culture desk Pujang does? 
Right. Must be uh, so much like, responsibility. I know. Um, because, you know, K-pop, K-culture, K-everything, mm -hmm. K-food mm -hmm. is just being consumed everywhere yeah. globally. So it's been quite busy for us because we are an English uh, paper and we also um, publish online. So every morning I wake up with this text messages from my um, reporters saying that should I write this should I not write this and oh. then and then I have to like gather together like the memo for the stories to for our paper mm -hmm. the paper version and then constantly I get text messages <laughs> and then also I have to do my own story I still write mm -hmm. even though I'm the desk chief uh, I write uh, heritage, maybe not so popular for the younger reporters, but mm -hmm. I love writing Korean heritage stories. Yeah. And um, so I still have to go around visiting museums, mm -hmm. exhibitions, and find stories there. And what else? Then I go into the office for meetings, mm -hmm. meet new people. And yeah, I, I have to like read junior reporters articles and oh. just restructure them mm -hmm. fix their leads if yeah it's necessary do and they then... make you angry sometimes <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> i keep biting your lips <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah uh -huh. so and then before it goes to the printing factory i just ah. check the headlines wow and then yeah that's pretty much my oh, day. It sounds like a very tough <laughs> position. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. All right, it's time for another song break, mm -hmm. and let's listen to some more of Sung Yeonhee's picks. First up is "Parabajoyo Look at Me" by George, and after that, "Chuok Sarangmankum" as "Memory and Love" by Brown Eyed Soul. We just heard Brown Eyed Soul with Chuok Sarang Mankum as Memory and Love. And before that, George and his song Parabajoyo, Look at Me. Look at me, look at me. Not that song. Though. There's a song that I wrote <laughs> oh, yeah? for twice oh, yeah. called Nari Baraba. Look right, at right. me, look at me, uh -huh. Nari Baraba. And that's trending I know, nowadays. I so I, I, I also uh, did the challenge. Ooh. Look at me, look at me, <laughs> Nari Baraba, Nari Baraba. Yeah. So <laughs> but looking at this, uh, the song title reminded me <laughs> of that song different version, a uh, different song. Yeah. Right, so looking at uh, the comments we received, we mm -hmm. have Sato Lap says, always too busy is a typical image for a journalist, at least sure. in Japan. Journalists must be, I suppose, uh, pressured to meet a deadline dealing with a mass of information. About mm -hmm. a decade ago, my cousin, working for newspaper reporter, collapsed from oh, overwork. No. <gasps> oh, which isn't uncommon in Japan. Mm -hmm. I don't know the working conditions in your company, but how are you balancing work and life in such a tough place? How do you mm -hmm. manage not to lose yourself in busyness? Mm -hmm. uh, Satoshi Okayasu from Japan. Thank you for the question. But yeah, I think we've mm -hmm. kind of went over that. I, I think in my junior years, I really um, invested a lot of my time, weekends, everything like to work uh, but as time went on I think it was re I realized that it's really important to look after yourself as well so mm -hmm. like I said I really allocate the time the for time. myself mm -hmm. and I just don't make any appointment I treat it as an appointment mm -hmm. with myself so that's a really yeah. good advice so if they say do you have a spare time can when can you see me even though I have free time on a weekend or a Monday afternoon, I say, ah, oh, no, nah, that's for me. So mm -hmm. I have that little space. I have an appointment me. with myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you need that. Yeah, yeah. great advice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And Nepper says, can you ask what was their favorite story? Uh, what was your favorite story mm. to report on? Good question. Wow. Actually, I have a lot of favorite stories. Sure been writing for the past 15 years mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think the favorite wow. I can pick so is curious. <laughs> the one I wrote about my dog about your dog uh -huh. Ashley no Ashley <laughs> Ashley passed That's away right. so now you have <laughs> another Cody. dog yeah, Cody. Cody. Oh, she's I've a rescue dog 
So, oh. um, oh, yeah. the reason sorry why about Ashley, okay. I remember. I know, yeah. <laughs> the reason why I wrote about him was that as I was um, adopting him, I found out so much about the bad, um, the puppy mills, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, illegal puppy uh -huh. mills, the factories oh, yeah. in Korea, and the and how they sell puppies in the in those windows at pet shops, oh, yeah. and how it's so bad. So mm. I just got into all that, and this even the adopt shelters there are so many like illegal ones going on out there so oh. I just went into my investigative mode uh -huh. so I kind of softened softened it up with the story of mm -hmm. how I got to adopt my dog wow. but at the same time got into all these legal um, laws and like the situation in Korea and touched on the illegal Mm -hmm. that were going on so I think yeah. I got a lot of feedbacks from global readers mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah. such an That's important right. issue and uh -huh. also a sensitive one yeah. Uh -huh. but yeah I think we should definitely talk mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. about it and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see pony is it your dog pony uh, pony. <laughs> pony. <laughs> pony sorry pony sorry pony <laughs> sorry <laughs> Okay. Uh, moving on, Shik K Forever says, "What do you do in your uh -huh. spare time? What are your hobbies?" My hobbies. Um, I actually got into. I play a lot of sports. I got into <gasps> playing tennis recently. Wow. Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, <laughs> so I try to go. Um, Be sure to put on your sunscreen. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's indoors. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh. And so I try to go every uh, week at oh, least. Every week. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. I'm into tennis, but like two years ago, I was into golfing. Oh. I'm into Pilates. I'm just into everything. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm very. Did you athletic. like all of them? Yeah. Mm. But you just have to keep it going, right? All but. Right. <laughs> I really need to start working out, mm -hmm. but I, I, I don't, I don't yes, know. You need that time for yourself. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, but maybe because I feel like I thought about it. Why do mm -hmm. I hate working out so much, right? Maybe it's because uh, since I was a trainee, yeah. yeah? Do you remember oh going God, to the, health, the gym together in the <laughs> right. morning? Before going to school, we would meet up and go to the uh, gym Early together. In the morning. And, yeah, but it was only for one reason, to mm -hmm. lose weight. Uh -huh. And I think that's why I, I, I don't have a good, uh, you know, thought about I remember about. you're really stressed about your weight because oh you were being weighed every month. Single day. Oh, it? yeah, every single day. Every single day. So Just for I remember, a, uh, a period of time. Yeah, like, as a trainee. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I remember I wanted to help you guys like I... lose weight <laughs> and a healthier weight, Aww. not like not eating, but by working out. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> <laughs> I remember like subscribing oh. to this, registering at the gym and yeah. working out together in the morning before going to um, school. school. Oh. And it just felt so sad. You guys like wanted to have this tteokbokki. <laughs> you were like, oh, I don't want to eat it. But I'm like, you oh. can eat it. Uh -huh. Just go for a run in the morning mm -hmm. and we can still lose weight. Yeah, <laughs> it was painful. Yeah. I'm so glad mm. that the dieting is over and I can mm. eat what I, uh, what I mm. want. I hope it's not like that anymore, you know, with the trainees of and, course, I and hope not. losing I hope weight. Not. You know, you should write about that, about the <laughs> idols. We oh, actually did. Diet. You did? Yeah. Oh. I think that story, mm -hmm. I think it comes out like every two years. Oh. Like the trainee situation in Korea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but now that nobody's, you know, telling me to lose weight, mm -hmm. now I, I lost mm. so much weight, right? I know. Now that uh, so in Korean they say chonggeguri, <laughs> I'm one of those <laughs> yeah, frogs. Chonggeguri. I don't know what the what the expression is in English, but if you yeah. tell me to do it, I won't do it. Yeah, but if you just true. leave me alone, then I'll do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm like My the mom opposite. Still complains. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe You're that's why. <laughs> Green is your favorite oh, color. Chonggeguri. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Jiyeon Kim says, Hello, Im Seung-e Kizan-nim. Could you tell me any episodes about, about April Fool's Day during your career as journalist or any pranks you did on school days? Oh. Ooh. Hmm. 
I love pranks, but <laughs> <laughs> April Fool's Day is a career. Actually, this morning, our editor-in-chief uh, texted everyone saying that be careful of fake news because today is April Fool's Day. Because <laughs> uh -huh. I remember like in 2020, um, everyone report like not like paper, but online versions. Many of them wrote about how a bunch of Americans Pushed the Hundrbawi off the Sorak Mountain, oh. mm. <laughs> which was just an April Fool's joke. But yeah, uh -huh. that was one um, wow. incident. So we try like to be careful mm. what's fake news, mm -hmm. what's April Fool's Watch joke, out, and everyone. whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> for today. But yeah, we fact checking is important for mm. every newsroom. Of course. But a prank I did at school, I actually like to put a prank on my sisters, younger sisters. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember my youngest, same uh -huh. age as you, she loved dogs and mm. my mom wouldn't let us keep one. So I, um, back then we had the cassette tapes. So I recorded my voice like, <laughs> like barking uh -huh. and then I put a furry, um, oh my gosh, dog. <laughs> A doll uh -huh. inside a box. Oh. I put a little hole in it, and then I went to, to my sister. Oh my gosh! I feel so hey, bad. Hey sis, I got you a present. <laughs> touch it. And this is a baby, like puppy, so you, you should be careful. Just touch the little puppy <laughs> through the hole. Oh, I feel like, so really? bad for her. Really, you got me a puppy. So she was like, and then just in time, the tape played. <laughs> oh so no! Like, oh really? Can I see him? Can I see him? And I was like, little later, little <laughs> later, and then the thing came. And I think that was the oh best prank gosh. I did. You, my sister. Did you film it? No. Oh, too bad. Too she bad. still talks about it. <laughs> She's like, oh. You're such a bad. She must have been sister. so disappointed. <laughs> but, yeah, she was disappointed. But other three sisters, mm -hmm. the older ones, did they all know about it? Big oh. laugh. <laughs> And that wow. was worth it. Oh. <laughs> if you're listening, Grace, thank you. Grace, I feel so, so bad. Oh. Yeah. Wow, wow. I don't remember any pranks that I did or um, oh, got. Yeah. You're yeah. such a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> but wow, that prank. How old yeah. were you when you did that? I think I was in like. Um, first year in high school or high something? school <laughs> okay <laughs> that's understandable yeah. mm. and johnny says give us an april fools version of how you broke your toe oh gosh oh. i tried to th think of a funny version of how i, how I broke my toe but hmm. i think i just uh, <laughs> i was just walking mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. you know how you have a lot of legs on the table mm. and I just bumped into it. Oh, yeah. and, and this happened in Hong Kong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, it's not an April Fool's no, version, but it's, it's what real really happened. <laughs> mm. so I felt so stupid, but that's what really happened. Oh. <laughs> well, it's such an interesting question. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you. Mm. And I'll be right back with journalist Im Seung Hye after another song break. Here is Wave to Earth with Sunny days, as well as Yoon Seok Chol Trio and their song Tokpegira Chakakagi Shipta, Fake Monologue. We just heard Yoon Seok Chol Trio with Tokpegira Chakakagi Shipta, Fake Monologue, and before that, Wave to Earth and their song Sunny Days. Oh, well, it's hard to believe. Time's yeah. already up and it's time to say goodbye. Oh, hope, hope you had fun. It was fun so was, much fun yeah. it was fun what a way so, to start mm, monday oh yeah and what a way to start april I know. beginning of a new month and mm -hmm. it's so nice to see you yes, in such a long nice time before i let you go one more question mm -hmm. i heard you're writing on a new oh you're working on a new website oh we actually yeah thank you for bringing it <laughs> yeah. up our company actually um is launch has launched two two new websites which is called k campus hmm. and one's called celeb confirmed ah. and i think it was very um good information for the listeners because k campus is for um just university information for international students and celeb confirmed is an entertainment news platform oh. we actually have a page for you too 
A page for a page for you, like me. Uh, you. Uh, me? Hitting. Oh, <laughs> so it's a celebrity page. Wow. But you know how there are so many platforms out there mm -hmm. that have just so much information, yeah. like, but it's not like Wikipedia. Oh. It's not confirmed information, right? Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. if you go on to celeb confirmed, we confirm the with the celebrity <gasps> or their agencies, oh. the age. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the oh, age I'm gonna and check everything. my page later. Oh. So we just made it. <laughs> so <laughs> you have to you. like, um, uh, yeah, register to follow. Oh. Heading, please follow all Heading's fans. Please do. Yeah. So Ooh. we're just trying to. So this is pretty new. So all your news will be filed under your name, <gasps> and uh, the difference great. is mm -hmm. that this is confirmed, right? Mm. So we're just trying to offer everything that fans need to, you know, wow. know about their celebrities and just to cut through the rumors, wow. right? Ooh, and you this know, is great. I love it. The culture, Korean culture, it's being consumed everywhere, mm. like I said. So a lot of foreign media, the foreign press, they look for like, how do you spell a name of this actor? Or oh, yeah. Their, his or her previous work that they did like mm -hmm. in 1970s. So this is the to go place mm -hmm. to look for such information. So yeah, Ooh. we launched this and yeah, please join. And there's a fan page, polls and everything. Wow. So you can check it That's out That's amazing. Too. <laughs> mm, nice, nice. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for coming for and yeah, sharing your good vibes with us today. Mm -hmm. And have a wonderful Monday. Yes. Thank you. Thank Goodbye. You. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, here is one last pick by Sungye Onni. It is For What It's Worth by Liam Gallagher.